Hello and welcome to the Super Casuals. My name is Orinato, and today we return to my series comparing the fundamentals of World of Warcraft then and now. In today's video, I'll be talking about class abilities as players level. To be clear, I'm not yet talking about talents, I'm specifically discussing how characters learn their new abilities. In old school WoW, almost every single spell and ability a character had in their spellbook had multiple ranks. Warriors and rogues would have the older ranks of their abilities replaced by the newer ranks. The rest of the classes used mana as a resource. Most spells that cost mana allowed you to use the older ranks of that spell. And most players did exactly that because the highest rank would cost a lot of mana to use it. Back then, managing your resources was crucial. Finding a balance of power and cost required a deep understanding of your class, talents, and gear level. When you started the game, you had access to a basic auto attack and one basic offensive spell or ability. On most even numbered levels, your class would be able to learn new spells or new ranks of spells that they already had. Some particularly cool or powerful abilities would be available at bigger milestones, often at multiples of level 10. The single biggest difference between then and now is that when you had access to these new abilities, you had to go find a class trainer and buy them. Yes, buy them. This was one of the very best gold sinks the game has ever had, and it doesn't exist anymore. This was a strong RPG concept that fit perfectly into the world of Warcraft. Your character started out as a nobody. They had to go and pay an expert to teach you how to perform your skills. Some skills were too advanced until you grew more powerful. You could also browse through the list of things a trainer could teach and see what you could learn if you only grew just a little bit stronger. It made sense, it took a ton of money out of the economy and added multiple layers to a player's leveling strategy. Oh hey, you just leveled up. Do you want to spend time traveling back to a major city to go buy more skills? Do you want to continue doing what you were working on first? Can you even afford to buy any more skills right now? Do you even need to buy the skills that are now available or can they wait? Should you save your gold for a big upcoming purchase, like a mount, or maybe that shiny item on the auction house you've had your eye on? Every little choice along the way will make you more attached to and invested in your character. Every class had class-specific quests that unlocked some of their abilities. Druids had to learn how to shapeshift into their various forms. Shaman had the journey far and wide to access the different elemental totems. Warriors needed to learn their other battle stances. And so, so much more. Some skills even required you to have reagents in your bags in order to use them. And rogues even had to craft their own poisons. Spell ranks were later adjusted in the Wrath of the Lich King expansion to cost the same amount of mana at all ranks and were then removed outright in Cataclysm. As of Mists of Pandaria, players no longer needed to buy skills from class trainers at all. Reagents were condensed and then removed in Cataclysm and Mists respectively. Which means modern World of Warcraft works like this. You start with auto attack and one ability, same as before. As you progress towards level 10, you instantly acquire a small number of baseline abilities. Once you hit level 10 and choose a specialization, some of those baseline skills will be replaced completely. From then on, at predetermined levels, you will instantly get access to specific spells and abilities tied to your specialization. They automatically unlock in your spellbook. They only ever have one rank. Their ability costs will never change. You don't have to spend any gold on them. You don't need anything special to use them. You don't have to complete special class quests to receive them. And you will not have access to many of the abilities from the other specializations available to your class. Everything was simplified, convenient, 
and now automatic. Outside of the talent tree, everything is done for you. Without question, I prefer the older version. It does not make sense that your rank amateur nobody can pull complex new skills seemingly out of their butts from doing something like picking herbs. It does make sense that in a world where your character starts out as a complete nobody, you would need somebody else to show you how to do things. It does make sense that you would have to pay that somebody to teach you. It does make sense that skills could have more powerful versions of themselves and would require you to be more powerful in order to master them. It all made sense, and when things make sense, it's easier to become immersed into the game world. The automated system also removes your ability to pick and choose how your character develops. The more time that you spend developing your character, the more attached you're going to be to that character. Aside from the novelty of having a first character, what attachment can you have to any of them now? What important choices did you ever make from the time that level one turned into max level? There is also the problem with the big ass gaps and nothing. Nowadays, the level cap is 120. Assuming you maintain the every other level routine from before, you would need to learn 60 non-talent spells while leveling. Blizzard has removed a lot of spells from classes. You do not have access to 60 spells, not even close. That means there are going to be times when your character levels up again and again and again, and you get nothing. There are big gaps in your character development where nothing happens. The worst and most obvious example of this is the final 10 levels in Battle for Azeroth right now. Big, flashy, on-screen prompts congratulating you, but that's all flash with no substance. You aren't really any stronger, certainly not with the level scaling. So what was the point? If they're going to keep squishing numbers before they get out of hand, maybe they ought to take a look at character levels. Stay tuned for the next episode in the series, where I will discuss the talent system. But until then, I thank you for watching the Super Casuals. My name is Oronado. Remember, keep it casual. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe if you'd like to see more.